fellow stuffers. How was your weekend? I had a date. I had a couple dates. I got some. Did you get some? <laughs> I know I got some. At least I think I got some. I got some, went out for dinner some, came back, got some, and then some. Well, talk about stereotypical. This is just the sort of thing that women accuse us of. Being liars? <laughs> I'm referring to the gutter gab. A bunch of guys get together, and all they can talk about is sex. Sex, 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 sex. You people are obsessed. Sex. But what do you expect? Our culture is fixated on sex. It's on billboards, TV, lingerie catalogs. You go to the museum, you look at a Picasso painting. What do you see? Breasts, dozens of them. People put leather bras on their cars. They, they stamp out their cigarette butts. I mean, look at this coffee maker here. These two pots sitting side by side. <laughs> I think we all see the same thing. Firm, pouting fanny. Two shapely orbs of flesh, hot to the touch, calling out seductively, Spank me, Daddy. Anybody want to read Phil? Oh, what's all that? These are some of the dating options available to a young single gadabout. You see, I have been divorced for six months now, and it's time to bring the grieving period to an end. So does this mean you won't be coming out of the bathroom anymore with tears in your eyes? <laughs> well, that was one time, and I had a little problem with my zipper. Video dating, personal ads, singles mixers. Why are you doing this? How can I put this delicately? Mr. Groundhog hasn't seen his shadow in many a winter. David, the best way to meet a woman is just to put yourself out there. And if that doesn't work, there's always Mustache Sally, the copy girl. You stay away from her. <laughs> Video dating? Come on, Preston, don't demean yourself with this garbage. If you want to meet a woman, take the classy road like I did. Russian mail-order brides, hmm? I still remember Svetlana's ad. Turn-ons, bread, and soft toilet paper. Turn-offs, long lines, and radioactive wheat. Oh, I can see why Russian women go for you. You've got that jittery Oswald look that drives them wild. <laughs> Thanks. Do this article over. It stinks worse than a Frenchman on a Stairmaster. What is your problem? Now, uh, my anniversary's coming up, and Mrs. Dunhill wants to go out for a romantic evening of dancing. <laughs> the next thing you know, she'll want to move into the main house. What's the big deal? I don't know how to dance. Well, just take some lessons. I don't have time to prance around with a bunch of bow-legged poofs. <laughs> Paolo! Go out and take dancing lessons, come back and show me what you've learned. I don't have to do that. You can't make me do that. I'm a fact checker. Well, here's a fact. If you don't do it, you're fired. Check. Hey, hey, you ready to go to lunch? Yeah, let me get my coat. Uh, you know what? Maybe uh, the best way to meet a woman is to be introduced to one by someone named Kelly. Hey, your name is Kelly. Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> David, you're not coming to lunch with us. I make it a policy never to set people up. No, well, if you won't let me come, I'll simply follow you. We'll lose you. I'm very fast. I have a stun gun. Rubber soles. <laughs> okay, come on. Wow, that was a great lunch. Just me and three fantastic women. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Just me, you, and three fantastic women. <laughs> So what they say about me when I went to the little reporter's room? They said, ooh, he's the dreamiest boy in school. <laughs> Relax, they said they liked you. You know that Marilyn couldn't keep her eyes off of me. Even after I wiped that gob of mustard off my chin. David, trust me on this. You don't want to go out with Marilyn. Why not? She's just not right for you. 
But Susan and Lorraine really liked you. I mean, really liked you. Well, they sound desperate. <laughs> Give them this crap. <laughs> so, can I have Marilyn's number? David, I really don't think... <laughs> All right. But I'm warning you, when this doesn't work out, don't blame me. It's ringing. Hi, Marilyn. David Preston. Oh, you were hoping that I'd call. <laughs> Well, how'd you like to come over to my place for dinner Thursday night? Great. Oh, no, no, no. We'll talk before then. Beg your pardon? Oh, my God, there is a, a cup of mustard on my pants. <laughs> Thanks again. Well, it's a good thing I'm covered in condiments because apparently I am quite a dish. So what do you think? It's great if you're dating one of the Bronte sisters. <laughs> David, this woman is going to think you're dull as dirt. First of all, get rid of the books. I suggest burning them and kill that funeral torch. <laughs> that is Mendelssohn, my friend. I don't care if he is your friend. <laughs> David, his music just ain't happening. You need something that says, all aboard the love train, next stop, nasty town. <laughs> Look, Marilyn is gonna be here any minute, and I'm nervous enough as it is. I, I, I know you're trying to help. I appreciate it. You're a good friend. You're the delivery man we never met. Hi, <laughs> uh, just a second. Thank you for that delivery. Uh, no problem. By the way, it's COD. <laughs> yes, COD. Thank you for that delivery of COD. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Fish of the Month Club. <laughs> Place. Thanks, you too. <laughs> I sense you're a little nervous. Well, no, 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 not at all. Oh, let me give you the tour. Let us begin in the living room. On the right is the kitchen area. And next stop, Nasty Town. I, I mean, I mean... Uh, uh, the bedroom. But I'm, I'm sure you've seen your share of bedrooms. <laughs> Not that I think that you're a tramp. Okay, tour's over. Can I have a glass of wine if there's any left? Uh, <laughs> sure, I, I guess I am uh, a little nervous. <clears throat> so, what does a commodities broker do? Basically, I spend other people's money. Oh, that's interesting. You have the same job as my ex-wife. <laughs> Wow, you have quite a collection of books. Oh, these dull things? I just keep the shelf around to uh, anchor my uh, feet when I'm doing my sit-ups. I just love a man as well read. In between sit-ups, I read voraciously. James Joyce. Ulysses is such a sensual novel. He could feel my breasts all perfumed, yes. And his heart was going like mad. And yes, I said yes, I will, yes. Did I get that right? Yes. You know, the guys I usually date are only interested in money and sports. But all these books, I just find them so sexy. Really? Well, I, I have a lot of very valuable first editions. Would you like to see my Dickens? <laughs> Why don't we start with a kiss? Okay, Arlo. You've had two weeks worth of dance lessons. Teach me. <laughs> Lesson number one, the tango. The fiery dance of love. Okay. Grab me kind of firmly. Not that firmly. You just made me swallow my gum. Just pretend I'm Mrs. Dunhill. The best I can do is pretend you're one of her legs. 
Okay, follow my lead. Finally, you push on the rim cage, dislodging the obstruction like so. <laughs> Just remember, you're Heimlicking everyone he's ever Heimlicked. This is absurd. You'll just have to come along and dance with Mrs. Dunhill. Find us a good restaurant, and for your sake, make it someplace dark. <laughs> what do I have to dance with her? He married her. I didn't marry her. Hey, gum. <laughs> Morning, Kelly. How are you on this fine day? Well, you're in a good mood. Things must be going well with Marilyn. Incredible. I feel like a teenager again, except for the acne and that overwhelming fear of the wrestling team. So, have you two, how can I put this in your vernacular, you know, partied in Barbie's dream house? I'm sorry, but a gentleman does not discuss such personal matters. So you still haven't done it? No. <laughs> And if I so much as drop a paper clip on my lap, I'll take out the whole building. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, I wanted to make sure that we were serious about each other. But I think tonight's going to be the big night. I'm taking her to Michael's for dinner and dancing. Michael's, huh? I need a place to go dancing tonight. Harlow, this is going to be a very important evening for me. I'd rather that there wasn't anyone there I know. You know, Marilyn, she'll be there. You're a hypocrite. I'm going. Well, I think it's great. It's working out for you, too. I'm really glad for Marilyn. I guess it turns out she's not so hung up on looks after all. Pardon me? I mean, I guess it turns out it, she's more interested in what's on the inside than... Look over there! She said something about me, didn't she? David, she swore me to secrecy. Come on, what did she say about my looks? David, you don't want to hear this. Yes, I do. David, please don't make me tell you this. Kelly, spill it. Okay, but you can't tell her I told you. She said David is so bright and so educated that I don't care that he's... That he's what? Homely. Huh? Homely. <laughs> said I was homely? I'm really sorry. Well, are, are you sure? Maybe she said homey as though I, I hailed from the hood. I shouldn't have told you. Please don't say anything. Oh, this has to be a mistake. She would never be so insensitive as to make a crass remark about my looks. Message from Marilyn. Can't wait to see you tonight. Funny face. Yeah, like her ass isn't a mile wide. <laughs> well, anyway, it's the 30th wedding anniversary for me and Mrs. Dunhill. Now, oh, sure, I make fun of her. But the truth is, I care about the woman. She's seen me through some pretty rough times. <laughs> God, I'd like to see you naked. <laughs> so, anyway, this is the 30th wedding anniversary for me and Mrs. Dunhill. Nice place, huh? Yeah, it is. It's not one of those trendy spots where you see a lot of beautiful people. But I, I could go to one of those places. In fact, I do all the time, and they let me in. Did I mention that? Really? Yeah. You don't seem like the superficial type. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Because <laughs> I tell you, when people see me shaking my goods on the dance floor, they say, nice house, nobody home. <laughs> Your wife is a machine. 
she wants to dance every dance. I'll tell you something else. She has roving hands. <laughs> yeah, well, if she does it again, try biting down on this coin. Now, after you finish dancing, she wants to go for a carriage ride in the park. But she's got romance on her mind. And she's stronger than me. <laughs> if you can just hold on till morning, she'll be off to stomp all over Tokyo. You seem kind of quiet, funny face. <laughs> Marilyn, let's address that delightful little sobriquet which you've chosen for me. Funny face. What the hell is that all about? It's a term of endearment. You know, like cutie pie. So you're calling me cutie pie? No, I was calling you funny face. <laughs> but, but you do think that I'm cute. Yeah, cute. You know, funny. <laughs> but, but which is it, cute or funny? Because they're not always the same thing, you know. Granted, sometimes funny is cute, and cute can also be funny. But is that your foot? Uh-huh. I think you're nervous because we talked about me staying over tonight. And I thought that this just might relax you. Well, it's not entirely unpleasant. <laughs> but about you staying over, I... Oh, my God! How many toes do you have? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Marilyn, we just can't do this. You haven't even heard what I have in mind. Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> It's a good thing we got that foreplay out of the way in the cab. <laughs> Why'd you turn the light up? Because it's more romantic with it off. Good answer. <laughs> now let's take your shoes off. Limber up those toes. David, yeah? say something brainy. Um, um, beer was invented by the Egyptians. Oh, God. Now talk about literature. Whitman. Oh. Fitzgerald. Oh. Faulkner. Oh. Faulkner. Oh. Faulkner! Oh. Yes. 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 There's still some light coming in here. But, well, that's that's the moonlight. Yeah, but it's lighting up your whole face. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? When it's totally dark, I lose all my inhibitions. I'll buy that. <laughs> oh, David. Yeah. David. Yeah. Oh, David. Yeah. Get a paper bag. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna put a damn paper bag over my head. What? I was starting to hyperventilate. Oh, please. I may be ugly, but I am not stupid. Ugly? Oh, my God. Kelly told you, didn't she? That's right, sister. You're busted. <laughs> okay. I'll admit it. When I first met you, I might have said that you were ugly. Uh, homely, slightly homely. <laughs> Whatever. It's just that usually I'd go for the gorgeous athletic hunks, you know, like Leon Spinks. <laughs> Leon Spinks? That's, that's your idea of good looking? Yeah. But that's my point. Looks are subjective. Well, imagine how you'd feel if I'd... I don't know if I'd have said that, 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 that you needed to lose some weight. Yeah, I see what you mean. But, David, now that I know you, I'm really attracted to you. Sold. Let's get naked. <laughs> David, yeah. you don't really think I need to lose weight, do you? Well, no, I like a woman with some curves. <laughs> curves? <laughs> Wait a minute. So, are you saying that I've got a big behind? Big behind? Who said anything about your big behind? <laughs> so you do think I have a big behind? No, no, it goes with the rest of you. Oh, so now I'm fat all over. No, 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 just, just, just your behind. No, I mean, not your behind, your behind is fine. That's it, David. I'm out of here. Marilyn, Marilyn, wait a minute, wait a minute, think about it. We're a perfect pair. If we ever had children, their brains would be so big that, that, that if they didn't have big behinds, they'd just keep falling over. <laughs> Oh, 
kind of a spell did you cast on Mrs. Dunhill? I didn't cast a spell. I would never cast a spell. Some black magic is wrong. <laughs> After an evening dancing with you, she came home a woman possessed. I've never known her so passionate. You made love in every possible way. I never felt so violated. <laughs> Why do you have to be so damn sexy? I could tell you, but your head would explode. <laughs> Morning. Hey, come here. Can you keep a secret? Sure. Liar! I can't believe you blabbed to Marilyn after I specifically asked you not to. This whole thing is childish. I mean, you're great looking. She's got a beautiful figure. Get over it. This is why I never set people up. From now on, no more matchmaking. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You think I'm great looking. I didn't say that. Oh, come on, Kelly. It's no big deal. We're friends. You can admit it. Okay. I said it. But it doesn't mean I'm attracted to you. Objectively speaking, you're a good-looking guy. You all heard her. Kelly's hat for my body. David, shut up or I'm coming after you. I'm very fast. I have a stun gun. And I'm wearing... Uh-oh. Ow! We'll be right back with more of the Preston episode. I'm telling you, Preston, this is the best way to get a woman. And it's a sure thing. Oh, there they are. Svetlana, Olga, this is David Preston. Hi. I know this is a little late in coming, but congratulations on being first in space. <laughs> now, before we go any further, um, do you find me attractive? On Harosh Savoy? I love them. Waiter, potatoes for the ladies, and keep them coming. <laughs>